Hi everyone. Welcome to Max Art Place. Today I'm going to try a swipe with a dampened paper towel. I've never tried that before. I've already put black down. I'm using black as my swipe color. And my colors today are going to be uh, Arteza's Primary Elizant Elements Key Lime <clears throat> and Arteza Pearl Pastel Green. And this is uh, Arteza's Yellow Green, three to one, has a little linseed oil in it. This is Deep Violet and Arteza's Pearl Lime Green. I'm doing uh, greens, gold, and one little purple. This is Amsterdam's white, two parts. Floetrol, one part paint, a little bit of water. And this is a Montmartre green that the label fell off of, so I don't know what that is. Deco Arts metallic crystal green. And my gold mica powder. What I'm thinking of doing is putting my colors along this way and then I'll swipe it down this way. I don't know what that is, but it's not there any longer. Um, I think I'll put gold first. See, I'm in trouble with these bottles. And they get the, the dried pieces stuck in there. I don't know, other than sticking a toothpick in there, I don't know how to combat that. Then this is the metallic deep crystal. I'm going to see what it's like to use different shades of green. Amsterdam white. This is two parts flow trawl, one part paint. A lot of times I don't have enough paint because I'm basically a conservative person. So I'm really pouring the paint on here. See if it makes a difference. I know this one has the linseed oil in it. I like the linseed oil because it doesn't uh, need to be cleaned before you put some other stuff on it. I'm going to put another. Can't get that gold down. There we go, a little bit. I'm going to have to clean the top out. I think golden green and purple make a nice combination of colors. But I don't, sometimes gold can be overdone. Maybe if I go in this way. I'll get out whatever is in there. Sometimes I think of leaving a toothpick 
in there. Are you sneaking in? I see one of my doggies is sneaking in the room here. Yes, yeah, she is. I want just a little bit more purple. That'll be good. And then I think the black is stuck also. So we're going to take the lid off. If you see a little black thing running around behind me, that's lollipop. That's my little poodle lollipop. Poor doggies are going blind. But they like to be wherever I am. So, let's see, do I do the towel this way or this way? Well, I'll try it. I'll try it that way. I hope after all this paint that it works out. Good thing I left the towels here. Well, I'm getting some nice cells. I think I'll use the towel in the other direction. I don't like that. I took too much off, so I'm going to do like that and come down a little bit like that. And then I got to do the torch. That spot there needs something. Uh huh, lots of air bubbles. I've got to do something about that. So I don't think I like white paper towels. I like the little pieces of cardboard. Probably messing the whole thing up, right? Mary, Mary, quite contrary. How does your garden grow? had so much paint on it, I thought it'd be better to pour some back there. It may not be such a good idea, but I'm learning. Yeah, but I do not like the wet paper towel. That's for sure. I like... Uh, Cardboard. I've done it once before with cardboard. And I liked it. I messed it up in the middle here, so I'm trying to do something with it.
So the swipe does nice sales and different designs, which I seem to like. I just have to learn the technique a little bit better. And as I said, I think I'll try the next one with the cardboard that I've done before, like a uh, cardboard from a cereal box or something like that. I seem to have had better luck with it. And I may even use the same colors because this is nice and bright. And when you're using black for a background, it, a lot of times it's too dark. Let's see what that looks like. Well, it's got that covered up <clears throat> a little bit there. That spot where I drug it down again, which was a no-no, but I did it anyway. Well, my paper towels are all over the place. Good thing the dog didn't pick it up and, and roll it around the house. Oh. Oh. Lots of nice uh, activity. I'm not sure you would call them cells. I think they are. And I'm going to torch it again, and then I'm going to take you down to show you it still has air bubbles. All right, we're going to go down for a look-see. Well, here we are, we're going to look at it. It kind of looks like the Amazon forest with some flowers on the bottom, I guess. Lots of activity. Kind of looks like a man in the forest who's stretching Look at all these neat little flowers down here. Maybe I can put some of these water, Veronica, I think her name is, water droplets on here when it dries. Lots of interesting stuff. You can really get lost looking in here. This is a 16 by 20. I have it taped in the back. And I do like this color combination. Let me know what you think. Should I use the same colors, different colors, uh, different size, different background? Do you like it the way it is? Let me know. I'm very curious. There's the whole thing. Thanks for watching. See you soon. Bye.